this is what you can expect on this week's vlog. That's it. What? That damn thing done slid all the way back there. Why do, why do you feel the need to bring a gun to your makeup appointment? Did y'all know I was a trucker's wife? Pick it all up. Pick it all up. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my I know that I don't make this. Y'all, today's Tuesday, November the 11th. As y'all can see, this week, baby, she's giving very much wonder. Yeah, she is. Hold on, but here's the kicker. Oh, I can't show y'all yet, because it's a car behind me. And it's dangerous, so I'm just going right on down the street to go get me some food, because I'm on my break and I'm hungry. I thought I could wait till my lunch, but I can't. Big girl is hungry, and that's why I'm gonna forever have three chins over it. Okay, here we go. Now I can show y'all what I wanted to show y'all, because look. That's it. What? That damn thing done slid all the way back there. Y'all, here's the thing. Even though the wig is like, <laughs> I'm not even ashamed. That's the bad part about it. Okay. Even though the wig is like way back here and stuff, it's fitting comfortably on my head. And the issue that I have with this wig, I really think it's too little. Like I think the cap is too little because I have headaches when I put this wig on. Whether I wear it glueless or if I just put like a little glue, like when I force it to be like where it's supposed to be, like I can feel the tension. Like it's just too tight. And there's no like a drawstring like there's an elastic band but I don't even have the band on and there's no like little clips in the back to where I can adjust it so I've come to terms with that the wig is just it's too little and I don't know it's just I don't know so baby today because my hair is braided down there was no way I was taking those braids down today on a rainy day so a hat was gonna have to work today and I don't care if it don't match nothing I got on they better be glad that I came to work today. Period. By the time you get this message, it's gonna be too late. So the bother paging me, cause I be on my way. Just like the cow gun commercial line. Really gotta get up out of here and go somewhere. Oh, God. Oh. All right, y'all. We are at Hobby Lobby. I have to, hold on. I'm having to come to Hobby Lobby because my son has a, let me fix y'all, cause why y'all walking? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Okay, I had to come to Hobby Lobby because my son has a project that's due Monday. Mind you, he didn't tell me about it until uh, Thursday, last Thursday. And um, so he'll work on it over the weekend, but I had to come here to get the supplies he needs for his project. I should have got a basket. Uh, I just hold it. Well, honestly, I'm not sure if Bobby Lucky is gonna have. You know, he's doing like the earth layering project. Y'all know what that is? Where you have to like basically get a foam ball, a foam ball. Is it called a foam ball? Yeah, foam ball and like color it and label the earth child. Would Hobby Lobby have, oh, here it is right here. I was just about to say, would Hobby Lobby have foam balls? But here they are. And I should have got a basket. <laughs> because this is the size he needs. It needs to be big. So, I got that. Now I need to get him. What is this clearance stuff? Yeah, I don't need nothing. I need to just stick with what I'm getting. What is that? Oh, that's a foam cutter. Now, should I buy that? That foam cutter is $12.99. I won't need another foam cutter until Shy goes to middle school. <laughs> 
Shouldn't a knife work? Oh, oh, we're good. It's $3.99, but it's like plastic. I feel like this one will get it real good. But, Security uh, section 10, please. Security section 10. Okay, y'all. I heard them call security. It's probably because I got my camera out. They're probably gonna come get me, Lord. Help me. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this. Okay, y'all. Yeah, I don't know how to feel because instead of just telling me to put my camera up when you saw that I walked in with my camera, you call security. <laughs> okay. But that makes me... I don't know. I could be overthinking it. Overreacting. I don't know, but... radio oh now she about to say y'all literally my my volume said zero but the radio was on but yeah i didn't like the fact that they called security just ma'am if you saw that i had my camera out and you had an issue or you saw a black chick walk in with a cap and you had an issue i don't know maybe maybe i wasn't approachable maybe i didn't have i don't know but yeah i was asked to put my camera up I guess, child. I guess. So, guys, later on in the day, baby, the wig is off, and I got my jailhouse braids underneath it. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, I did y'all know I was a trucker's wife? Pick it all up. Pick it all up. And the one. My husband is a truck driver. And what's wrong? Oh. My husband is a truck driver and we are headed to Austin, Texas. Now this is like an overnight load so we'll be back in the morning. But I just kind of want the vlog us on the road. Y'all these lashes. Let me show you something. Better not break. Better not sell. Can y'all see my lashes? Like they, okay first of all I break. I barely got any lashes. But this morning when I woke up, the little lashes that I got, why was they flipped upside down like like the bottom lashes? And I'm almost done taking these off. Yeah, I, I'm, let me zoom out. Yeah, I'm over the um, lash extensions. I don't think I'm going to get mine. Well, I know I'm not going to get mine um, put back on. It's not that I don't like them. It's just that I'm a person that likes to really clean my face. And I just feel like... One, I feel like my lash, my real lashes are being damaged. And two, I feel like I just can't clean my face like I want to. And if I want to put on makeup, like it kind of gets in my lash. Then I got to use a little shampoo to clean. I don't like all of that. I just like to, to do my daily cleanser every day and get all my stuff off and not worry about lashes. That's important. But anywho, that was a little rainy, rainy, rainy. Um, we are currently, okay, so I'm a trucker's wife. So I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about trucking. I don't know much, but I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit. So right now we are sitting because we're waiting for the trailer to be loaded, right? So let me turn around. So we are, excuse my purse right here. We are at Amazon because my husband, never mind. Cause y'all, wait, is that something like people can look up? Cause I don't want them looking you up ever. Oh, okay. Well, right now we are at Amazon because my husband has a contract with Amazon and we are waiting for his trailer that he's gonna take to Austin to be available. So once it's ready, um, you'll see, you see how you see a red, blink and then a green blink once um his trailer is ready which i'm not sure what what little station his is it'll turn green and then that's when we'll know when to go hook up the trailer well not we but when he go hooks up the trailer and you know head on out so that's what we're doing right now we're just at a standstill and then once we leave here we're gonna get some gas because we're gonna fill up and head to austin texas Child, let me be the first to tell you I went to sleep so it took forever for that load hold on y'all 
my husband dropped me off at home so I can come pick them up. But y'all, it took forever for that load to get ready. So I fell asleep. And when I woke up, baby, we already back at home. So I missed all of Austin. So I'm gonna have to take y'all on a trucker's trucker wife trucker wife adventure another time because baby what it's six o'clock in the morning when i came on camera last night it was like nine o'clock at night mm -hmm. only me Woo, child. okay so it's later in the day i got on these little tights these little i don't know what these are nikes i don't know and a white shirt and this jean jacket and child we is headed to my son's basketball game so let go yeah i'm so goddamn pissed off so <laughs> my husband and um sons are already at the basketball game they left early the game was supposed to start at 11 40 a.m so here i am leaving my house at 11 20 because you know I, the place is not too far from my house I just so happened to look at my phone and check my text messages. He sent a message at 11.14 out to all the parents asking if anybody was close because the league, I'm assuming, changed, adjusted the schedule and now they want them to play at 11. What? So mind you, here it is, 11.32, and I'm nowhere near the darn place and I'm not gonna get there until 12. Yeah, so I'm gonna get there at 12 noon. So basically, the game started at 11 instead of 11:40, and I done missed my son play. Yeah, I'm pissed about that. Okay, y'all, we done made it to the game. We like 40 minutes late. No, I'm lying. We about 20 minutes ah. late. What? What? Where they going? Hey, he went and got some food, and didn't bring me nothing. It be like I don't like how you moving. It be like that sometimes, child. If you don't go, you don't get. That's been the rule. There was no way that I could go with you. That's been for like six, seven, eight, nine years. There was no way that I could go with you. If you don't go, you don't get. And then she didn't call me. Anywho, y'all. Let's go. We finna go get wings stopped. And I'm finna eat it right in his face. And it's gonna be so good. So, you don't go, you don't get. Nah, I'll forget you. You don't make no calls. Nah, I'll forget you. It is what it is. Why are you following me? I'm done talking to you. I'm a part of life of shape. No, no, you're not a part of life. You're not a part of life of shape because you. No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta reevaluate this. <laughs> Baby, how you gonna go get you some food and don't even? I mean, don't call and be like, hey, babe. Um, cause y'all know I met him at the game, right? So we took two different cars to the basketball game. So on the way home, he asked me to drop off his sister, which is fine. And then when he pulled, when we all meet up at the house, he got food and I'm like, well, damn. He mentioned earlier today that he wanted me to cook some spaghetti. So that's what I was, you know, thinking we're gonna eat. But no, he come in eating Chipotle and it smelled good, looked good, all of the above. So I said, okay, motherfucker, I'm gonna go get me some wing stop on your ass. So <laughs> when I call wing stop, and you know they always ask you for your phone number so i start giving him my phone number he gonna look at me talking about something i know you're not for the order wing stop you're damn right i am in this shit for to be real fucking good <laughs> baby let me tell y'all about my client i don't know what to think of this my client came to her her makeup appointment with a gun <laughs> why do you have a gun why do, why do you feel the need to bring a gun yeah, to your makeup appointment. Do you think I'm gonna harm you? What is she talking? It's <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Why do you have a fucking gun? Who got a gun? Yeah. <laughs> this is the type of clients I get. This is the type of shit that I deal with. Friend, what? don't forget your gun. What gun? Uh huh. What you talking yeah. about?
y'all today is sunday i don't know the date but my allergies has really got the best of me like i keep sneezing my ears keep itching my throat keep itching and it's irritating after so long i just it drives you crazy so i didn't do absolutely nothing today um well anything really outside the house um i just stayed in the house all day today put up the christmas tree well lies the christmas tree was already up i just went ahead and kind of decorated it with the decorations that we had and then i seen on facebook um where this lady had built a fake fireplace and um i did that so i got some boxes together and kind of decorated the little fake fire fire place i will show that to y'all tomorrow because baby i don't feel like climbing those stairs so tomorrow when i gotta get up in the morning to go wake my daughter up because her room is upstairs once i go wake up in the morning for school and stuff i will show y'all um the fake fireplace that i built uh what me and my daughter built but other than that i cooked and i didn't do I'm trying to make myself drink this Alka-Seltzer. Now, I thought I had some allergy medicine. I don't. I thought I had an allergy Alka-Seltzer. I didn't. So, I do, I'm just drinking the cold one. I don't know if that's for the help with my allergies or not. But, baby, I know it's the nighttime one. So, it better just put me to sleep. Maybe it's the lighting. Okay, here we go. I can't get closer because that black line will come. Y'all see that? Anyway, I don't know what that line is about, but this is the fake fireplace I built. It's too early in the morning for that. Let's go wake up, shut up. Mad man. She never knocked. 